So this is flip mini lecture number 39 on the vertical simple harmonic oscillator. And you might wonder, why is Knight devoting a whole section to the vertical simple harmonic oscillator? Well, actually it's more common. So it's pretty hard to arrange for a frictionless table. If I have a situation like this, I have a mass, I have a wall, that's all easy to arrange. But to arrange for a frictionless table is a little bit tricky. Now we do have them here, um, but uh, it's not the more common case. The more common case is if you have the spring hanging from some fixed rod and then the mass is hanging off the spring. So that's the, actually the more common situation, and it isn't obvious that this situation has the same types of solutions as this situation. So that's what this section's about. Now I need to write down the equation for this. Uh, I probably should put a coordinate system here. So we need uh, a usual coordinate system with y up. and x in the horizontal direction. Now x is the uninteresting coordinate. Things not moving back and forth in the x direction. So really I've got, a, on the right hand side of Newton's law, I've got the y component of the acceleration. And then I've got on the left hand side, the sum of the forces in the y direction. Well, one of the things I have in the y direction is just a minus mg because that's pulling downwards. And the other thing I've got in the y direction, this is where setting up the coordinates properly really starts to matter. I've got a k times uh, y minus y equilibrium. Now, watch out here, okay? You gotta make sure you got the signs right. If the, spring, if the mass has been moved up a lot, then the spring better be pushing down. So if y is a large number, that is if a y is greater than y equilibrium, then indeed I have that multiplied by minus k, which means I have a force in the minus y direction. Conversely, if y is less than y equilibrium, that means I pulled the spring down, 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 down on the y-axis. If y is less than y equilibrium, then this difference is a negative number, which is going to get multiplied by this negative number, turns into a positive number. If it's down, then this is indeed pulling up. So there's your equation. Now, here's what you do with this. All you do is you rewrite it a little bit. So you have the minus mg and then have the main minus ky minus y eq. Notice that I could rewrite this as, and on the right hand side I'm going to keep the may. On the left hand side, I'm going to rewrite this as minus k times y minus, now I'm going to say y nu eq. And the interpretation of this y nu equilibrium point is that it's the point where the force upward from the spring balances the force downward of gravity. So the balance point isn't where the, where the spring has no uh, force. The balance point is now where the spring has uh, the same force uh, to oppose the gravity. So now let's just figure that out. If I want a new EQ, Look at what we've got here. We've got minus k times y nu eq. So that those two minus signs cancel, and I've got y nu eq. That better be the same as the minus mg term times minus k times the old y eq, the actual. Okay, so that tells us the relationship between the new y eq and the old y eq. I can divide everything through by k. I can subtract off y eq from each side. And 
and I discover that the y nu equilibrium is a certain amount lower than, see the minus sign here? That means it's lower than the original equilibrium position of the spring. So, and how much lower? Well, mg over k lower, which is exactly how much you have to stretch that spring to create an mg force in the up direction. So there's your answer. And what does it really boil down to? It means if I pick my coordinates in a new way, I'm going to pick my coordinates so that y, instead of being uh, 0 at y eq, which is what we might do to make our lives easy, we're going to create choose our coordinates so y is 0 at y nu eq. So you find the balance point. Uh, Maybe I'll redraw my horizontal axis, and I'll just say that's the balance point. You choose the y equals 0 line there. That's a nice coordinate system, y. You choose it that way so that y uh, nu eq is 0. And look at that. You're left with may is minus ky. So this has been completely reduced to a problem that we've already solved. It's just that the equilibrium position is different. That covers 15.5.